Okay, hello, friends and followers. Here's a quick fix of my Fluke 77. So I left this thing on ohms and I measured probably a thousand volts and blew out a part. The replacement part we're after is going to be this NTE part here. This is what I'm going to put in. This is R1 on the diagram of the uh, volt ohm meter, the Fluke 77. Anyway, get this thing apart. Four screws back here, take these out. And we'll open the meter. And take the board out. Once these are out, you can pull them out. Or just dump them out. The back should pull right off. Set them aside. Okay, well, it looks like the board will come up with it. Dump them out. Here we go. Now, take this back, take the battery out just to be safe. Batteries out. Take this back fuse out to get access to a screw back here. Batteries out. Take out the screw here. At any rate, so the part we're after is this R1 part here. So the part we're after is this part right here. That's the one we want to get out. So here's our NTE part to go in. I did buy a few of these, didn't I? 1K ohm, 5%. Anyway, let's get one of these out of here. So, I figure if I blow the meter up a few times, I got a few more spare parts. Get one out. There it is. Ta-da. All right, the colors match? No, of course not. Okay, so get this thing out of here. Looks like it is here and here. I'm just gonna use my solder sucker and try and suck it out. All right, let's see if that'll come out or not. You don't want to overheat the board and ruin it. Then again, it might come out without ruining things. I could also just mount the thing on top of that. Let's see if we can get this thing out now. So, um, you just want to try and pull it out without burning yourself. Actually, I could try these pliers here. No, it doesn't look like it's going to come out easily. Okay, so maybe just heat up the uh, end of it here and yank it out. Or not. There it is, it's out. Okay, it looks like that one came out cleanly. Let's get the other end out. Actually, I can just pull it like this. Pull it like this and yank it out. Heat it up and pull it out. Just be careful not to wreck the board of the meter. It's not doing too well. Okay, that's out. 
is the part. Okay, so we can bend up the new part. Get it looking tidy. Like that. Looks like it's about there. All right, and then we can just cut the leads off a bit. Go from there. Okay, got some wire cutters finally. And cut off those leads. verify you can see through the holes or else you could ruin the traces on the other side I can see through here the white paper so looks like we're doing fine now just stuff in the part and you're all set looks like I didn't measure right I bought it which is pretty sloppy. There we go, re-bend it. And if you're gonna burn these out in a bunch of times, you just wanna be careful on this board, so. There's nothing really in that hole. It's just not going to go in. There it is. That's going in now. It's a real close fit. Put that one in. There you go. Now give it a quick solder and you're all set. You could raise it above the board in case it catches on fire so it won't burn the board up a little bit. There we go. Maybe uh, I'm not going to bend the end of this thing in case I want to get it back out. And just don't bump it because it'll fall out. It's time for some solder. And people say I mumble, so I have to not mumble anymore. Okay, that's in. Make sure it's level. I'm going to extend this wire down a bit. Doesn't look too good, does it? Okay, lift it up a little bit. I don't want it touching the board, but yet I don't want it to be looking shabby either. You don't want shabby looking parts, right? A shabby looking fireproof resistor, which is a is it a film resistor? I think so. All right. Check it for strength. Press, 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 press. Looks good. All right. I would say that is a success story. I guess we could... Make it look a little better by moving it over. Okay, it's in. And assembly is reverse of removal. So we'll take the case here. And that's the wrong part. 
Here we go. Put it back in. Like that. Put that screw back in there and we're all set. Not real tight. Put the battery back in. There it is. Move that little cap down a bit. Batteries in there. Let's put the lid back on and we're all done. Here's the lid. Put the screws in the bottom of it. I guess I talk too softly. I'm sorry. Okay, that goes in. This goes in. Doesn't need to be too tight. That's it. Now it's time to test the meter. Okay, the big test. Calm. Put in the calm. Put in this one. Positive. And short the lead. The chick say dot three. Dot two, that's good enough. It's not flashing, that's what you want. Here you go, peeps, the meter's fixed. That's all she wrote. It's what you wanna see. Don't blow your meter up. Take care of your meter, it takes care of you. Thanks for watching, have a great day.